The wrath of nature is unpredictable, often leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Storms, with their fierce winds and torrential rains, can transform serene landscapes into scenes of chaos and devastation within moments. Karamoan Island, known for its pristine beaches and lush landscapes, found itself facing the fury of a powerful storm. This island, a paradise for many, was about to be tested by nature's unforgiving elements. As winds howled and torrential rains lashed the island, fear gripped the hearts of its inhabitants. The once calm and picturesque environment was now a battleground against the elements, with people seeking shelter and safety. The storm's relentless assault plunged the island into darkness, cutting off power lines and isolating communities. The infrastructure, which once supported daily life, was now in ruins, leaving the islanders to fend for themselves in the pitch-black night. Homes were left without electricity, plunging everyday life into disarray. Families huddled together using candles to light their way, while the familiar hum of modern conveniences fell silent. Yet, amidst the chaos, a remarkable story of resilience and ingenuity unfolded in one particular barangay. This community, despite the overwhelming odds, began to rally together, showcasing the strength of human spirit in the face of adversity. This small community, bound by a spirit of togetherness, refused to be defeated by the forces of nature. Neighbors helped neighbors, sharing resources and offering support, determined to rebuild and recover, while other areas grappled with the aftermath of the storm and the prolonged absence of electricity, this barangay stood apart. Their ability to adapt and innovate set them on a different path, one of hope and resilience. They had somehow managed to keep their lights on, a beacon of hope in the storm's darkness. The sight of illuminated homes amidst the surrounding gloom was a testament to their resourcefulness and determination. But how? What did they do differently that allowed them to overcome this challenge when others couldn't? The answer lay in their preparation and innovative solutions. This community had taken proactive steps, investing in alternative energy sources and creating a robust emergency plan. They had installed solar panels, ensuring a steady supply of electricity, even when the main grid failed. Community meetings were held regularly to discuss emergency plans and distribute supplies, ensuring everyone knew their role in disaster struck. Training sessions and emergency drills were conducted, involving everyone from the youngest children to the eldest members. This comprehensive approach to preparedness meant that when the storm hit, they were ready. Community leaders played a crucial role, fostering a sense of unity and collaboration. Ideas were shared, and efforts were coordinated, ensuring that no one was left behind. As the storm passed and the skies cleared, the community began the process of rebuilding. Power was restored, homes were repaired, and a sense of normalcy returned. The celebrations that followed were not just about survival, but about the triumph of human spirit and the power of unity. Caramel and I, once again bathed in the golden hues of the setting sun, stood as a testament to resilience. The storm had tested them, but it had also brought them closer, stronger, and more prepared for whatever the future might hold. The storm hit Karamoan Island with unexpected ferocity. As the sky darkened ominously, the true extent of nature's power became terrifyingly clear. The howling wind, like an angry beast, ripped through the island, uprooting trees and tearing down power lines. The once familiar humming of electricity faded, replaced by an eerie silence that amplified the storm's roar. The barangay, like the rest of Karamoan Island, was plunged into darkness. Homes, businesses, and community centers were without power, their usual vibrancy extinguished. The lack of electricity brought a chilling halt to daily life. Refrigerators fell silent, threatening to spoil precious food. Communication networks went down, isolating families and friends. The darkness brought with it a sense of uncertainty and fear. Faced with this unprecedented challenge, the barangay could have easily succumbed to despair. The loss of electricity, a fundamental aspect of modern life, could have paralyzed their community. Yet, they chose a different path, one illuminated by resourcefulness and a strong sense of community. Instead of waiting for outside help, they took matters into their own hands. But what exactly did they do? How did they manage to overcome the power outage when others couldn't? What were the secrets behind their success? The answers, as we will soon discover, lie in their immediate actions and long-term vision. The barangay's response to the power outage was immediate and inspiring. 
As soon as the lights went out, the community sprang into action, demonstrating a remarkable level of preparedness and unity. Local officials, understanding the urgency of the situation, sprang into action. They knew that every second counted and that their swift response could make a significant difference in the lives of their residents. They organized emergency meetings, gathering at the Barangay Hall, a sturdy structure that had weathered many storms. This hall became the nerve center of their operations, where plans were made and responsibilities were assigned. Despite the lack of electricity, the spirit of Bayaniham, the Filipino tradition of communal unity and cooperation, illuminated their efforts. People came together, pooling their resources and skills to ensure that no one was left in the dark, both literally and figuratively. We knew we had to act fast, recalls the barangay captain, his voice filled with determination. The urgency of the situation demanded quick thinking and decisive action. Our priority was to ensure the safety and well-being of our residents, especially the elderly and the young. We mobilized teams to check on the most vulnerable, making sure they had everything they needed to stay safe and comfortable. Word spread quickly through the community, carried by the very winds that had plunged them into darkness. The news of the coordinated efforts and the support available reached every corner of the barangay. Neighbors helped neighbors, sharing food, water, and kerosene lamps. The sense of solidarity was palpable as everyone pitched in to help those in need. The barangay officials, with the support of volunteers, went door to door, checking on residents, providing reassurance, and distributing essential supplies. They made sure that everyone had access to the basics, from food and water to medical supplies and emotional support. This collective effort showcased the true strength of the community, proving that even in the darkest times, their unity and resilience could light the way forward. As the days turned into nights and the storm clouds finally began to part, a sense of calm began to return to the barangay. The once tumultuous skies gave way to a serene horizon, signaling the end of the immediate crisis. The barangay knew they had weathered the immediate crisis. Relief was palpable as community members assessed the damage and began the process of rebuilding their lives. The storm had tested their resilience but it also brought to light deeper vulnerabilities. The experience had also highlighted a stark reality. Their reliance on external power sources left them vulnerable. The power outages that followed the storm were a stark reminder of their dependency on an unreliable grid. Residents were forced to use candles and flashlights, a temporary solution that underscored the need for a more reliable energy source. This realization fueled a desire to find a more permanent solution. Community meetings were held and discussions about sustainable energy options became a priority. Local leaders and residents alike brainstormed ideas, determined to find a way to ensure their resilience in the face of future challenges. They envisioned a future where their community, no longer at the mercy of unpredictable weather patterns, could thrive with energy independence. Blueprints for sustainable energy plans were drawn up, and the community began to explore the potential of solar panels and wind turbines. They envisioned a future where their community, no longer at the mercy of unpredictable weather patterns, could thrive with energy independence. The sight of solar panels on rooftops and wind turbines in the fields became symbols of hope and progress. This vision, however, presented a unique set of challenges. Local engineers and technicians worked tirelessly, discussing technical plans and working on electrical components. The path to energy independence was not without its hurdles. Could a small barangay with limited resources truly achieve energy independence? The community's modest means and rural setting posed significant obstacles, yet the determination of its people was unwavering. What innovative solutions could they implement to make this dream a reality? The community explored various renewable energy solutions, from installing solar panels to assembling wind turbines. Each step forward was a testament to their ingenuity and resolve. The answer, as we shall see, lay in their commitment to sustainable practices and their willingness to embrace new technologies. The community's journey towards energy independence was marked by collaboration, innovation, and an unyielding spirit. Their story is a powerful reminder that even the smallest communities can achieve great things when they come together with a shared vision and purpose. The Barangay's determination to achieve long-term energy security was admirable, but many questioned its feasibility. Skeptics pointed to the costs and complexities associated with such an ambitious undertaking. 
Could a small, remote community truly afford to implement and maintain sophisticated energy solutions? Some argued that relying on traditional energy sources was the only practical option. However, the Barangay leaders remained undeterred. They understood that true resilience meant not just restoring power, but building a more sustainable and self-reliant future. But how would they overcome the financial and logistical hurdles? What convinced them that their vision, however audacious, could be realized? The Barangay's strategy for long-term energy security was rooted in sustainability and innovation. They recognized the abundance of natural resources at their disposal and sought to harness them effectively. Solar power emerged as a beacon of hope. The island's tropical climate, blessed with abundant sunshine, provided the perfect environment for harnessing solar energy. The sun, explained one of the Barangay Council members, has always been our constant companion. Now, it will also be our source of power. With the support of government grants and partnerships with non-governmental organizations, they embarked on an ambitious project to install solar panels on rooftops across the barangay.